Charlize, I know with Bombshell, the financing had some trouble with Annapurna <laughs> as you were going through the process. Tell me what the day, that day was like when you found out that they, they weren't going to back <laughs> oh, it and boy. what you do as a producer that day. <laughs> A lot of the miracle of getting a movie made is like having everybody available. And on this film, we aimed really high and had a lot of actors who are very, very busy. Mm -hmm. And so our ske the scheduling was the biggest problem with the financing falling through because it was, we were two weeks out from shooting. Oh. Oh my and we had cast everybody and so beyond that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had people working. We had, a, two weeks we needed out. a cash flow, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. 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 And Jay was on, Jay Roach, our director, was on a scout with you know, all of his head of departments. And oh. um, right after I got the news that Annapurna was dropping the film, I, I couldn't call him. I literally couldn't call him. <laughs> I, I called Aaron first. I was like, I, I, there was a part of me that was just so, it was so crushing that I called Aaron first and and then uh, somebody else called him and Jay, Jay was like, no, I know about it. And I was like, oh God, right. don't get demoralized. Right. Like, we're gonna do this. Right. Like, you're just trying to like patch the pieces together. But I, I do think sometimes things happen for a reason and you're lucky when you can pick up the phone and call a, a previous financing partner yeah. that you've had a great experience with. And in this case, it was Braun, and mm -hmm. I called Aaron Gilbert, and I just said, can you put your cape on and come and rescue me? <laughs> and I've had great experiences working with him, and there's mm -hmm. a great. level of trust there. So, you know, he, five hours later, he called me back, and he said, we'll do it. And within two days, we, we knew we had the financing, and then there was a real interest in the film, so that was mm -hmm. not the, the, the problem. Like, studios wanted to mm -hmm. be a part of it. But I think, ultimately, we made that movie the exact way that it was supposed to be made. When you do something that is controversial, that's maybe a story like Bombshell, like, there was definitely this idea, this confidence that came across on a lot of websites that you're just like, oh, you're so confident that you think you know what this movie is, that this is actually gonna be a really nice surprise. Mm -hmm. right. And I do, you have to have thick skin for it, mm -hmm. um, but ultimately that was the thing that I relished the most, was every day going to work with our incredible cast and then having Jay Roach as that shepherd and knowing that what he was gonna do with the story was totally gonna be something that nobody could predict. Could predict. Mm -hmm. right. And what a nice challenge. Let's take something, a subject matter like sexual harassment and turn that on its head so it doesn't feel like the thing that you think you're gonna see right. or the thing that, that is the medicine that we're gonna ask you to take, but how do you make it entertaining? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Also, if you feel like people think they can predict a movie, like, right. you know, yeah. they hear a title or the casting or right. the director and then all of a sudden they, it's like they know exactly what the movie mm -hmm. is gonna look mm -hmm. like. And I think it's, it's such an unfair position for films. It's also a fun challenge because it is a little bit like singing something. Like you get to like rub it in their faces yes. at the end. Do any of you have a project that is the one that got away, a movie you're still hoping to make that's been yep. stuck? <laughs> I, think, I think we all do. Yeah. 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 Tell me about that. I, uh, I was approached by Park Chan-wook like God, around 2005 mm -hmm. um, and he basically handed me the rights to one of his trilogies on vengeance, uh, Sympathy wow. for Lady Vengeance, mm -hmm. which was just so unbelievable. But he came to me and said, I would love for you to try and tell this in a Western, as a Western story. And and that's that's been the biggest challenge, but it's definitely a project that is like, I just, I have to just figure out how to get this right. <laughs> and it's, it's been many years. And in a weird way, it's, I think it's good because, um, the character goes to prison for a long time. And I think if I had made this movie, you know, 12 years ago or 13 years ago, I think it would have been different. I think I think it's all playing out the way it's supposed to. That's what I, at least what I'm telling myself. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Deborah Martin Chase. Hi, I'm Dan Lin. I'm Peter Chernin. Hi, I'm Charlize Theron, and thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for watching the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. The Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. Roundtables on YouTube. On YouTube.